Good morning. Welcome back to Debrek on this 27th day of July 2021. My name is Sam Gituku and I want us to begin the discussion as we talk about the matters affecting the nation. And to introduce the panel, we have via Skype Tim Wanyoni, the Member of Parliament for Westlands. And uh, good morning, Tim. We also have uh, Alice Ohome, Member of Parliament for Kandara Constituency. Karibu sana. Thank you. Good morning. Pris Priscilla Nyokabi from the National Gender and Equality Commission. She is a commissioner there, but also a former Member of Parliament for Nyeri, Consti for Nyeri County. Rather. Karibu sana. Thank you. Jessica Mbalu, Member of Parliament for Kibwezi East. Karibu sana to the show. Thank you and good morning. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'll be with you now. <laughs> what has been going on? building the country. Okay, all right. And I want us to begin by looking at uh, the latest in the papers. Uh, Royal and Kalonzo finally part ways. That is according to the Daily Nation. Uh, too little, too late. The question they are raising. Not even a last minute, minute concession by ODM to share the political party's funds would salvage the political dalliance that saw Mr. Raila Odinga and WIPA leader Kalonzo Mosioka run for the presidency on a joint ticket twice. WIPA MPs rejected ODM overtures and resolved to withdraw the party from the NASA coalition. Then the same story, or the main, same main story on the front page of the standard, Raila backs down as Kalonzo quits NASA. They are saying that it's a climb down. Uh, ODM leader sits ground on contested political parties' funds in a last minute effort to woo back his estranged partners. But this did not uh, stop Wiper Party from joining ANC in voting to quit the alliance formed prior to the 2017 polls. And to illustrate this, I want us to listen to the Wiper Party leader, that is Kalonzo Musioka, who spoke and made that announcement parting ways since they came together uh, under NASA. Was it in 2017? Let's listen to the Wiper Party leader. We welcome our friends in ODM. We are not, we are not killing NASA and killing ODM at the same time. We are, re we are really cognizant of the fact that ODM have a right also to do political formation. But I want to take this platform to welcome ODM as we form the new alliance, all encompassing, for the purposes of national salvation of the Kenyan nation state. This country is at a we I have had a very useful consultation as well as a democratic movement this evening, culminating in our decision uh, to exit NASA and welcome a new formidable coalition, which coalition, in my view, will be spearheaded by the One Kenya Alliance. In making this decision, we have no hard feelings. And we are cognizant of the current political environment. We are sure of the direction we want to take. And we are determined to take that decision, that direction. All right. Hoi Papati leader Kalonzo Mosioka and joining us here is the Kibwezi East Member of Parliament. Jessica Mbalu, we see you right behind uh, your party leader. So clearly you know what was going on. You attend that meeting. But now you're saying that you're leaving NASA, but you also welcome ODM into One Kenya Alliance. Tell us about that. What is that? Uh, very well. Thank you, Sam. Yes, it is true that I am a member of VIPA Democratic Movement and uh, NEC member that uh, we made a decision yesterday on the 26th that we are leaving NASA and we are forming a bigger house, the OKR, One Kenya Alliance. Again, we are not locking anybody out. We also welcome even Ronald Raila, Odinga, the ODM to join us in the big house. Mm -hmm. So we are just moving from a small house to a big house. We're forming a bigger coalition, the OKR, the One Kenya, because we are looking at uh, the nation. We are including everybody, as you just very well said that, Honorable uh, Kalonzo did say, mm -hmm. that uh, we are not locking anybody out. We are welcoming everybody in our new house. 
and there's a bigger house. So, so what will be different? Because when I look at the National Super Alliance, I see, well, until the decision is made that NASA is no more, I see ODM, WIPA, ANC, and Port Kenya. Now, you're outside with the WIPA, ANC, Fort Kenya, and Kanu. Actually, those parties combined have lesser members of parliament elected or even elected officials than um, what ODM has. So what do you mean? Bigger house, smaller house? Uh, we, we are talking about moving from NASA coalition. Mm -hmm. And we, we dis made a decision yesterday in the NEC as, as a WIPA democratic <coughs> movement, moving to the bigger house that are OK. Yeah. We are saying that uh, this movement is one Kenya because we are looking at Kenya at large. Mm -hmm. We are not uh, looking at uh, small areas. That's why we want to put everybody, every Kenyan on board. Well, yes, this being a new movement, being a new uh, coalition, uh, we, are, we, we are going to grow bigger than even we are saying. That's why we are welcoming everybody. Mm -hmm. When you talk about members of parliament lesser than the others, we, we, we even then uh, the Jubilee, we are working with the Jubilee and we are working with the, the other members. So we're going to be bigger than you would want to imagine. Okay, so you're talking about uh, futuristic. It's not about speaking. yes. It's All right, and yes. Tim, <coughs> now you you've been left alone. Um, I mean, if the third party, probably Fort Kenya, withdraws from NASA or even ODM, then that coalition collapses. Do you think you've achieved what you wanted to achieve in 2017? And what happens to ODM now? Tim, did you hear me? Hello? Yes, I'm, I'm asking you Hello? a question. Sam? Y yes. It's a question for uh, you, and I'm I asking... Think, let, let me say this, that uh, it, is, it, is, it is good. I can see WIPA have uh, actually woken up to realize that NASA uh, is no longer the place they want to be. And if you look at even the formation of One Kenya Alliance, it's just the three NASA... Uh, coalition partners just have uh, just brought in uh, Kanu. So which means there's only ODM missing there. What I can say is that uh, all along ODM, we say that uh, NASA died at the day that Rilodinga was sworn in as the people's president. Mm -hmm. But our, our friends who are not, uh, did not realize that and have just woken up the hard reality. NASA died a long time ago, but we also uh, alive that uh, as we go to the election, we are going to have new uh, realignments. And uh, uh, One Kenya Alliance is just one of the formations that has come up. And uh, very soon, new formations will come up, and maybe we may just find ourselves on the same side again hmm. with uh, the, the, our, our, <coughs> our, our, our estranged uh, partners. And I'm very sure that this is something that is healthy for democracy. And uh, these formations, we want just to say it is good because there's no one uh, political party that can mm -hmm. go it alone and form a government. It has to be a, a coalition, and that coalition must be uh, with people of like-minded. And mm -hmm. I'm sure this is going to come very soon. But, but, but that's very interesting because, look, in 2013, there was the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy. You had uh, WIPA, ODM, and Fort Kenya as the main partners. Then that collapsed, and uh, the coming on board of the National Super Alliance, which was very well marketed by Musala Mudavadi, bringing the addition of ANC. This time around, you, NASA is collapsing, and then the, some three parties are going aside and adding on top of what they have, <coughs> Kanu. So really, are they just musical chairs, or is, is anything really changing when it comes to what defines these parties and the vision for the country? Uh, although, although, although I can, you, you, the sound is not very good, but uh, I, I can get you a little. What I'm saying is that uh, well, these, uh, you know, our, our partners are crying foul. They are saying that uh, there was a deceit. There was, uh, yeah, we were, uh, ODM was not honest with them. But I think uh, this matter, as uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka has, has stated, mm -hmm. they have discussed with uh, the right Honorable Raila Odinga. 
and I'm sure maybe they have not given us what they really agreed upon. Mm -hmm. And uh, formation of coalition, coalition, me, me, to me, coalition should be formed after election. But when we form a coalition before election, sometimes things happen. You may not win the election, and you bring in a lot of issues other than what we agreed upon. Mm -hmm. But if formation were formed after election, I'm sure people will come together knowing very well what is at stake, what, is, what they are going to do. Because uh, sometimes you may end at an election and nobody, nobody emerges as a, as an outright winner. So, mm -hmm. uh, but, but this new formation is just, there's nothing new. It's just coming up with everything that was there before. <laughs> and the agreements, I'm sure, if you look at the Political Parties Act, uh, the allocation of revenue from the Political Parties Act mm -hmm. normally is for the strength that the party holds in the House, in, 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 in Parliament, and the number of members of Parliament elected vis-a-vis uh, -vis the MCAs and, and, and the governors and all that. So uh, this one of, 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 of NASA, mm -hmm. if there was that, such a thing, because I've, ne I've never looked at that document, is uh, it was just a kind gesture from ODM to their partners. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, uh, TV is talking about um, what uh, Kalonzo Musioka said that uh, they have agreed that some money will be shared and it's also captured in the two dailies. But Priscilla, what do you make of this? Um, Tim admits that nothing is different. And even as we face the next election, you don't know what formations will, will come, but the political parties are the same, the players are the same. Just some sort of reorganization and finding a name. What is this? Well, you know, I was just looking at the history of our country. Uh, it does appear that uh, uh, for the winning of the presidential election, coalitions are extremely important. So I was just looking, 1992, we did not have uh, the coalitions. Standalone parties went to election. 1997, we had the IPPG and a bit of attempt at formation of coalitions, not very successful. 2002, Yote Awezekana, uh, NAC, that was the first big win of a coalition arrangement, like the kinds that we have now. 2007, PNU, Party of National Unity, was a coalition, then uh, forming the Grand Coalition after the post-election violence. 2013, TNA and URP. 2017, Jubilee, a coalition. So, so this seems to be, you know, in, in, a, in a series that even 2022 is going to be a coalition arrangement as we go uh, into the election. So you can't quite say that there isn't anything new because if you look at the 2002 one, mm -hmm. economic recovery was, was, was the reason for the coalition. Uh, so even the one that we go into in 2022, there will have to be some economic recovery uh, ideology because of the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And so parties coming together, regions coming together, it, it gives more stability, more inclusion, uh, really something to celebrate about. My only concern as an NGEC commissioner is the place of women, the place of young people, and the place of persons with disability in these coalition arrangements. Mm -hmm. and, and so we are hoping that the coalitions as they come in, the opposite gender rule is, for example, enforced between the presidential candidate and the running mate, that they are of opposite gender, uh, that there is inclusion of young people, that there is inclusion is of persons with disability. Or a, or a desired it, is, it is not exactly written in law, but yeah. it would mean that if you're looking for inclusion, it is not just the regional <laughs> blocks, it is also inclusion of other sectors of the, of the, of the population, women, mm -hmm. young people, and disability. Because one of the bad things about coalitions is that they eliminate uh, women, and I was happy uh, when the leader was speaking that uh, my friend was there and, and, and the two other women, I think, and, I, and we've seen the same also in Uda, so that the coalitions can come in, but let the coalitions be inclusive of all the regions and all of the communities, but also of the special interest groups as well. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we have two or three coalitions competing right. because this arrangement of 70 political parties going into elections <laughs> is a bit of an untidy democracy. So these coalitions also give us a chance at a tidy democracy the majority party and the minority party. One watching over the conduct of business of the other, oversight as it were. So mm -hmm. this is not a bad idea. I think that this is the way it should be as we prepare for 2022. All right, and I want us to listen to what Kalonzo Mosoka said about um, uh, that quarrel that has been for a very long time in as far as political parties' funds are concerned. Listen. I always knew there are extremists <laughs> in ODM who are misleading Raila. When we sat and I showed him, and by the way, I made it very clear, these were the only discussions I had with Raila on the matter of political parties funding. 
And he agrees with me because he hadn't seen the salient clauses to which he affixed his signature. Therefore, Honorable Raila has, has done well. We will file that letter with the registrar of political parties. And therefore, there will be no need for the Sifuna letter, <laughs> which was instructing the registrar of political parties to convene a meeting to discuss what, in his view, was helpless business or hopeless business. We are serious leaders, and, and, and we don't want leaders who besmirch the character of national leaders. We forgive them. Well, well, well uh, did I just say that? Very interesting that um, Kalonzo Musioka appears now to apportion the blame uh, to the other officials within the ODM party and not Raila Odinga. But we'll get to that with Jessica Mbalu here. But uh, Honorable Aliso Home, so you've been in this country for quite a bit of time when it comes to matters politics. And are you seeing anything new? And what do you make of uh, the end of NASA and the discussions now going to the next coalition? And I say this knowing that you have uh, different political interests. Uh, thank you, Sam, for calling, having me this morning. Uh, I was looking at the Nation newspaper, and I'm seeing somewhere on page four uh, with a, a headline or a heading that uh, Raira and Caronzo just kiss and say goodbye. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting one because uh, I think that's what is happening, kiss and say goodbye. I don't think there is a kiss. It's just goodbye. <laughs> uh, meaning uh, the relationship, there would have possibly been a kiss if you could hear kind of words, you know. Uh, luckily, maybe Kalonzo is somehow a gentleman or unable to take hard positions like he has been known. <laughs> he knows that? that NASA, because, uh, you know, uh, some NASA, <laughs> according to Raira, even before, he even told Kalonzo, that I never asked for, I did not ask you for your support. I have not even said I'm running. About a month ago. Mm -hmm. This is, of course, his uh, former running mate. Then Sifuna, even on uh, national television, has been on record saying Na NASA died a long time. Uh, they all agreed it was the formality that they were maybe waiting for. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the formality. We could congratulate uh, the Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. Uh, for taking the actual legal step now to ensure, although they say that, I think the agreement says that you need like three partners mm -hmm. to be able to exit, two or three partners, Jessica could clarify, to exit. But now that uh, even ODM is saying they are writing the letter, Kalonzo has uh, been uh, allowed by the neck, uh, it's, it's done. I think there is there's no more marriage there. The, but uh, I think Jessica needs to be more candid mm -hmm. in this particular matter. They have moved from a bigger <coughs> house, from a big house to a smaller house. Inasa was obviously a bigger house, and uh, the largest partner or the bigger partner was uh, the ODM. Mm -hmm. It has more than 80 members of parliament. WIPA has about 20 members of parliament. ANC has about 14, and Ford Kenya maybe two. Or one or two, I think two in Senate, and uh, maybe one or three in the National Assembly. The figures are like that. So she, she, she's not able to say, I, I don't think it is correct per se to say that they have moved to a bigger house. They possibly would be looking forward to building a bigger house. Uh, so that is a coalition maybe with, with, you know, because we were talking about the other partner in, uh, in uh, is it Oka? One Kenya, one Kenya Alliance, Alliance. Kenya yes, Alliance. Uh, the uh, Kanu, and, uh, and yeah, it's Kanu, ANC, and Ford Kenya. Uh, these were the same partners, minus Kanu, who had formed NASA. Uh, I, I don't see how, uh, but she has also talked about uh, joining, maybe welcoming ODM back. So you see, it's like a, a strategic move. Maybe they are hoping to be the bigger brother, considering the number of bigger sister. Let me just, because I think we should be talking about the bigger sister here. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> the bigger sister uh, in this coalition. You know, it's just uh, maybe some strategic move there. Because if they are welcoming NASA, 
And they also say they want to welcome uh, the ruling party. How sad that even uh, small parties uh, would think of welcoming the ruling party instead of expecting to be invited into the ruling party. That tells you the status and where Jubilee is in terms of a political party because it has dismembered itself. Definitely Jubilee has dismembered itself. I think now it is at the size of uh, wiper. So I can uh, expect, I would uh, not uh, fault Jessica for thinking that well, actually... Why would you, why would you uh, say that? You're still uh, a uh, member uh, of parliament uh, elected on Jubilee ticket. No, 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 no. You know, uh, that is true. Uh, but I may not be a stakeholder anymore, so I cannot be counted in the numbers of Jubilee anymore. I'm, I, I told you last time I was here, we are in Jubilee technically, and we are allowed. You know, Jubilee is in, in discussion. It's in the public domain that Jubilee is in discussion with, uh, I think, NASA. So now it would have to decide which particular party within NASA it will be dis in discussion Honorable with. Honorable, but I, we know I, it I has been The actual talks that we know about between Jubilee and ODM. Yeah. You know, initially they had said it would be NASA. In fact, His Excellency is on record saying if NASA were to come together and produce one candidate, he would actually maybe consider supporting. Are you sure? Honorable yeah, Honorable? yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you hear him say it's, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is reported. It is reported. Uh, but also the president has been working with the ODM leader and other, 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 other leaders. In terms of a political party that can uh, really claim to have worked with the Jubilee, I think ODM would, would kind of queue number one. Mm -hmm. And, and therefore, there is a big possibility, and even members of both parties have been saying they are working on a coalition. Therefore, that kind of a move is completely illegal because Jubilee has not called any of its organs. You see, Jessica's party, WIPA, give it to Kalonzo, they called the neck. For Jubilee to even commence serious negotiations, of a major or a coalition. They need to summon the governing council. The political parties act provisions speak to that in, article, in uh, section 10, so that the governing council can give approval. And, and, and in fact, they should go further and summon the national delegates convention so that the membership can approve that. But you know, Jubilee has membership, but it doesn't have legit or legitimate uh, organs. Mm -hmm. Because those organs can only be formed through elections. And you believe five years down the line has against the law not been able to put in place grassroots or any other um, office. You know, these are all the, all the offices that you hear, mm -hmm. sucking and removing people and threatening people, locking out uh, our party headquarters are in the were in the interim were interim on interim basis okay. and they ought to have been confirmed through elections three years down the line that has not happened okay so so we are ourselves we are in, in um, i'm in i will be learning on uda sam it's no longer a secret and okay. the political parties act allows a member a president a deputy president a member of the national assembly to to actually continue serving in their elected position if their party merges or forms a coalition with another party because you cannot be forced to stay in a party that has changed its status, possibly formed uh, a merger or a coalition with a party that you, you, you didn't even approve or you don't hold the same beliefs. Mm -hmm. So we would not be affected legally. So, so, so d does that law mean when there are plans to form such a coalition or when, those, uh, when such a coalition is actually uh, ratified? You see, in terms of a party leadership, you, f for you to form a coalition or a merger, the party organs, the governing council must approve and allow that to Th happen. That's what I'm saying. So therefore, Th does the law allow you to associate with them or to continue serving when a political party has moved into another formation? It does. The law allows you to make the choice to continue when it happens or when there are plans to make it happen when it happens when so it, it hasn't happened yet you know, but, but they are all indications that they are working together okay. illegally 
Yeah. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. I just wanted to correct you because you said that uh, Fort Kenya has uh, three or so members of parliament. Yeah. According to the statistics of 2017 election, uh, Fort Kenya got 13 mm. members of the National Assembly elected, Amani National Congress 14, WIPA uh, Democratic Movement uh, 23, ODM 73, Jubilee 173. And of course, if you are. National to, Assembly. Yes. If you okay. to add I start, the I start the collected. All right. See, still, the figure, what I, I was trying to demonstrate no, 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 that, that's fine. in terms of the ODM numbers and their numbers. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but Jessica, getting back to you, we hear your party leader say that. Um, he is not expecting to hear from Edwin Sifuna. His letter is not expected. They are extremists within ODM. So in, in, in a sense, he's talking about this bully within ODM. Is it the shared view that you find ODM such a bully? And even if you're going to One Kenya Alliance and you're inviting them to join your coalition, how are you going to avoid that? Very well. Number one, it is true that uh, on the issue of the political parties, funds, that uh, the ODM, the NASA, as we were, we have had issues. And uh, it is true what uh, the, His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka did say, that, that, that so many people within the party have been misleading or they have been given the wrong information. Just on record that uh, yesterday, during even the NEC meeting, mm -hmm. we were brought a letter was written to us, to, of course, to His Excellency Kalonzo Musioka on the issue of the political parties' uh, funds. And uh, for real, Raila Odinga did agree that uh, there was been a mess. They, have over, they never looked at it very well. During all those years that we were in NASA, and of course, from a letter that he did write to us in admission that they have not been able to remit the funds to the particular parties that formed NASA. Of course, we want to congratulate him because he really appreciated and he uh, uh, accepted that he there was a mess. that he had never read that article. I mean, he either read or not read, but the meeting that they had with the Kalonzo Musioka after, of course, being the lawyer <laughs> and the senior counsel, he must have read the article for him. Uh -huh. Then, uh, we, with his admission yesterday, we got the letter, accepting that he's going to reimburse or give the funds to the political parties. We are waiting for this, so we appreciate that one. But again, we want the letters that we have been written by one like Mr. Safuna, Sifuna, and uh, the members does not hold waters. Because now this is a letter that we got from one Honorable Raila. And, and that's why my, uh, Honorable Mbalu, that's why my question, if this bullying attitude from ODM is something to go by, you think that's going to change when you invite ODM to One Kenya Alliance? When they come to uh, One Kenya Alliance, we will we'll be talking differently. And these are the people now we don't want to allow to, to, to mess up uh, our One Kenya Alliance. And that's why it's no longer NASA. And just maybe also to correct and maybe hard word on Honorable Wahome, NASA uh, being uh, uh, that we paper, in terms of paper, we, we left yesterday as mm -hmm. part as, as WIPA Democratic Movement. When we come to One Kenya Alliance, we welcome everybody. And we are going to be bigger, and we just formed the One Kenya Alliance, we're going to be bigger than uh, before, than okay. WIPA, than NASA. Uh, she's admitting that uh, she's a member of the Jubilee, which is very true. She's also welcome, although she's on record saying she's going to run with you. I don't even know how to mention the... It's UDA. The UDA. United Democratic it's Party. It's what? I know Alliance. Viper Democratic Party. Alliance. Alliance. Yes. Yeah, she's also welcome. I know in the, the coalitions in 2022, you'll even find the Honorable Ali Zwahome in one Kenya alliance. <laughs> and she's, very, she's, she's a good lawyer Jessica. and she's very welcome. <laughs> Let, let's, uh, and, uh, let's wait and see. You, know. you wait and see, yeah. You can see. see, yeah, because yeah. we have just formed it and uh, yeah. this is the way to go. We are I way tell ahead. you, one Kenya ahead. alliance is the way we to are go. Way ahead. We are way ahead. They can't even sleep. All these movements are because they are trying to catch up with the United uh, Democratic Alliance. Okay. But I want to add something on the on the yes, go, on go the ahead, funding uh, mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, these are also lessons on coalitions. Uh, I think that in the next season of coalitions, there must be better agreements so that some of these matters are detailed within the coalition agreement. But more importantly, and I like that the parliamentarians are here, the Political Parties Act might need a relook. 
that fund eliminates so many parties from mm -hmm. uh, the criteria. So I think that it is time that the criteria is looked at so that, because there were reasons for the political parties fund, including making democracy more inclusive and making parties more inclusive. Uh, they are even supposed to be funds for women, youth, and persons with disability within the political parties uh, fund. So that law might need to, re to be looked at again, the criteria so that more parties qualify, and that funds are also spent on membership drives and the elections that Ali spoke about earlier. So there's a whole lot of work to be done mm -hmm. on the political parties fund. What, what has happened now is the political uh, handshake as far as that fund is concerned, but there's a bit of legal work that needs to be done so that parties can strengthen and parties can then get taxpayers' money for the purposes for which uh, mm -hmm. it was meant. Mm -hmm. And more parties can qualify okay. based on the performance mm -hmm. at, at the but elections. Because, uh, as you say, but for this matter, maybe uh -huh. to clarify, as far as why democratic in the terms of NASA, there was agreement. The agreements are there, the annexes are there, everything that okay. what was read. But then the agreement yes. and the law. Because yes. the law, yes. WIPA should qualify for the money directly as WIPA. Yeah. I, I think what she's referring to is because I think the act talks about uh, a qualifying political party has to have at least uh, garnered five percent of the mm. total vote sure. in a general election. Yes. But Honorable Tim, uh, I see you smiling. Um, as you watch this and as you listen to this, is there any consideration of reviewing the law? That's first part of that question. But the second part is, ODM is seen by NASA affiliates as such a bully, and that's why many of them are saying that they are leaving your party or, or leaving NASA because of yourselves. What will change if you are to form another alliance with either of these parties or even the Jubilee Party? Hello, S Sam? Yes. I'm, uh, I, I hear. I can hear you, but uh, so much noise, I cannot uh, comprehend what you are saying. But uh, what I've got on uh, uh, Honorable Cheska saying is yes. um, the fearing uh, uh, the, the ODM writing letters to the political parties uh, because NASA is dead. And some of the positions that are held by our partners were actually donated by ODM. So it would have been uh, natural that uh, those, part, those positions referred back to ODM. But we are not saying that. Mm -hmm. We have already expressed ourselves saying that in good faith, we are not going to uh, disturb the uh, arrangement that is already there, that the, the, those, lead, those positions held by our SWAL partners, they will still be held in the same way. Status quo will be maintained. ODM is a good partner, and we are going to, uh, we may need each other later in future. But we must also be alive that. Uh, lately, I've seen uh, WIPA has been talking very tough. Has been talking tough and uh, talking at ODM, uh, telling ODM off and all this. But I can see Honorable Kalonzo softening after talking to Honorable Raila Odinga. And it is healthy that the leaders should sit together and talk when there are issues or when there are disagreements. And this is culminating to even formation of new alliances. And we can see that uh, them moving to uh, one Kenya alliance, ODM has still options. We can, we can opt to uh, form, form alliance with any, any other partner or even join hands with them and form uh, yes. maybe a better uh, coalition than what, what is already existing. But we are saying that we are Everything has been done, was done in good faith. There was nothing that uh, ODM did that was out of outside the agreement, mm -hmm. or that something that uh, uh, what our partners are saying that ODM uh, did not share the revenue as required. But what I believe is that discussion, as is uh, which is ongoing, mm -hmm. with the uh, okay. Couple. Yeah, I, I, I think some... I think oh, 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 I want to take a... Going forward, Tim, we're having challenges, we're having we challenges must, hearing we you. We always be alive that Kenya is bigger than any one of us. And as we form uh, uh, new alliances, let us be alive that we have competitors and we must have uh, uh, partners that are like-minded that can bring something better to, uh, to a table than uh, just quarreling over the place. Okay, all right. Tim, we're having challenges uh, with your audio. We'll take a short break so that we can try to rectify that, but also 
Uh, the viewer, you can text in your views and questions. Next, we'll be talking about the regional interest. You've seen the Mount Kenya uh, region positioning itself. We've seen the coast region saying that um, uh, it's time that a candidate is known from uh, the ODM party, including one Hassan Joe, who is the deputy party leader there, saying that uh, if it's not him, it's weekly for Paranya. If it's not weekly, if it's Raila Odinga. If it's not Raila Odinga, it's Hassan Joe. We continue that conversation to look at that road to 2022 and what will be defining with all these political parties and the regions coming on board, what do the political leaders want after the break?